At the end of a long day, you deserve to fall asleep and stay asleep. So use tonight's sleep story to unwind and take the mental holiday that you deserve. As always, it's an honor to have you as part of Michelle's Sanctuary. Please subscribe if you'd like to hear stories in the future. And if you have any suggestions, I'm always open. This week's sleep story is sponsored by Live Lab, a U.S. and French company founded by ex-insomniacs and sleep experts. If you prefer to listen to sleep stories with headphones, which I recommend, then you know it's hard to find something that feels good throughout the night. Homeband is a comfortable audio headphone with flat speakers so that your ears won't hurt while you're sleeping. Homeband comes with an app, and I've created original sleep stories for them. Some of them include the Magical Igloo, New York Harbor, the Ancient Temple, and the Orient Express. I want to thank them for supporting this sanctuary and for helping my mission to help others dream away. If you want to enjoy these exclusive stories and a night of comfortable sleep, give Whom Band a try. Save 25% by using the promo code SANCTUARY. The link is in the description. Tonight's calm sleep story for grown-ups will help you fall asleep and stay asleep as you unwind before bed. You are listening to The Crystal Shop. Travel on a train that weaves through a bucolic landscape of woodlands, marshes, and quaint centuries-old towns to arrive at a mystical village. You explore the cobblestone streets and meet Angeline, the owner of a renowned crystal shop. Immersed in her enchanting space, you learn about the healing properties of crystals. In a sun-drenched room, you enjoy a transformative sound bath as Angeline plays an array of quartz singing bowls she helps you connect with dreams and experiences you wish to attract into your life. Come nightfall, you find repose in a guest house on a marsh and fall asleep with a sense of clarity and peace. It's time to dream away. I would like to welcome you to Michelle's Sanctuary. I am Michelle, and as you listen, know that my utmost goal is to help you cater to your needs at the end of the day. Adapt the details of this experience to what best suits you. Your mind will be more open to wandering to soothing visuals the deeper you relax. As you drift through the delicate space between wakefulness and sleep, your imagination brings you to a soft place to land. While listening, think of me as a trusted friend and guide. Right now, your best interests are in mind, and I am so grateful you have elected to spend your precious time in the sanctuary. Every moment counts, and together, in this talk down and sleep story, we will make each moment count towards bliss and simply feeling good. Let go of my voice at any point and fall asleep if you desire. As you settle into your bed, Feel a sparkling wave of gratitude wash over you. Your room is your haven from the world. In a safe place, you get to decide how you wish to end your day. Set the tone for the dreams to come. Every bedtime ritual prepares you for the mental holiday you deserve. Shrug, wiggle, snuggle into your pillows and with your blankets. Find stillness when you are ready and take in the deepest, most generous breath you can. Think of each breath as a gift 
to your body and mind. Open your mouth and yawn, sending ripples of relaxation throughout your body. And then sigh and become heavy in your bed. The more you sink down, the more you appreciate the support it gives you. Revel in the sanctuary of your mind and room as you inhale. Your breath gets a little deeper as your body expands a little bit more. Yawn and sigh. This time is a reward for all you have handled throughout the day. You have arrived at this place for peace and repose. As you inhale and expand, and then yawn, and then sigh, making a sound and feeling every muscle relax. When you're ready, return your breath to normal. Feel a soft, tender smile form on your lips as you embrace the tenderness of this moment. In this relaxed state of being, it's time to let your imagination take over as the story begins. There's something universally soothing about the clicking of the tracks and gentle rocking of the seascape line, a commuter rail that serves as an artery between a bustling city and a tranquil coastline. Nestled between these two vastly different settings is a mystical village known for its historic charm among tidal estuaries. For centuries, this hidden gem of a village has been known for its healing arts and the moments it offers with nature, beckoning to all those in search of serenity and maybe even a little enchantment. You ride in a quiet train car. The only other passengers are a young boy and his mother and an older man with his sleeping dog. The train speeds through the countryside full of lush woodlands and marshes that sparkle in the white gold light of early afternoon. You pass through historic towns where church steeples jut behind cloud-like tufts of cherry blossoms. You pass by pastel-hued Victorian houses and quaint Cape Cottage-style dwellings that conjure thoughts of fairy tales. The tracks cut through a velvety green field where hundreds of daisies and tall blades of grass ripple in the breeze. You observe a girl walking through the field with a daisy tucked behind her ear. The skirt of her long butter yellow dress takes flight on the soft wind as she gracefully walks through the meadows. Your view from the panorama windows captures the beauty of this idyllic place like a Monet painting. Your trip is without a purpose or goal other than to get lost in a new place for a little while. This getaway has been long deserved and without much of an agenda, your afternoon is open to whatever new experiences come your way. The train pulls into the station and you disembark, eager to explore the cobblestone streets of downtown 
before retiring in a guest house you've rented for the night. You've packed light for the trip with a canvas weekender bag over your shoulder. Across from the train station is a small park that overflows with tulips and daffodils planted yearly by volunteers. A clock atop a grassy knoll is nearly as old as the village and ticks away each second, playing hauntingly beautiful melodies on the hour. The air smells unique. The sweet, salty notes of the marshes compete with the fragrance of fresh-cut grass, the perfume of spring flowers, and the soft petrichor that lingers from an early morning rain shower. But now the sky is clear, with no hint of rain to come. In fact, the sky is the clearest, brightest shade of blue you have seen in some time or have at least taken the time to truly appreciate. As you make your way through the narrow streets, you come across locals going about their day. Everyone dresses comfortably in this village, wearing rich jewel-toned hues and bohemian patterns paired with sandals. Their flowing attire combines unique fabrics that are pleasing to the eye, yet also intriguing. You can't help but notice the energy of the quaint antique shops, a diner, a bookshop, and a cafe along the main thoroughfare. Everyone seems to be having a great day. The open front doors of the establishments welcome in the fresh air as the sounds of joyful conversations, music, and comforting smells pour out onto Main Street. At the end of the street is the most unique shop of them all, Angeline's Crystal Shop. The Crystal Shop is a haven for all who enter. Hand-woven flower baskets containing lavender and chamomile hang in the entrance from cast-iron hooks, emitting a soft, soothing perfume that travels on the breeze. As you enter the dimly lit shop, the dulcet tones of wind chimes greet you. Golden lights shine beneath hundreds of crystals placed on glass shelves. The lighting has the powerful ability to transport you into what feels like a dream. The shop owner, Angeline, greets you. Her eyes sparkle like aquamarine. Her unkempt hair flows down her back in shiny waves. She is an ethereal, calm soul, radiating serene energy that immediately puts you at ease. She welcomes you with a warm smile and inquires if there is something you are looking for. You tell her nothing in particular. She responds that you should take a gander and that when we don't know what we are looking for, our quest is to find out. You explore the labyrinth of shelves and displays and feel the energy change and shift as you come upon different crystals Rose and clear quartz are arranged like crystal mountains around a glass bowl of smaller stones for sale. 
A hand-painted sign reads, Those immune to magic are immune by choice. Magic is experienced by those who believe. Angeline watches as you read the sign and asks if you have any experience with crystals. You answer her honestly. She expresses that many people are dubious about crystals, but science has proven that if we choose to believe something has power, our body and minds react as if it does. And even if one doesn't believe a crystal can heal, its unique beauty alone is enough to change the way we perceive the world. Angeline waves you over to a collection of ten crystals in the heart of the store that represent the gemstones that she finds to be the most helpful. Each crystal is more captivating than the last. As you let her hypnotic voice share her vast and extensive knowledge of crystals, she explains how each crystal has its unique energy and properties that can help you in various ways if you are open to it. She brings you to the rose quartz, a romantic soft pink crystal that is known as the stone of love. It promotes self-love inner peace and harmony in relationships. Some of the crystals are more peachy pink, while others are more like pink rose petals. Some are translucent, some are frosted. And for the sake of this experience, you keep yourself open to all that she says. Angeline places a rose quartz crystal in your hand and you close your eyes, allowing your mind to drift to summery meadows that you roam with confidence and self-love. Your mind drifts to the girl in the long yellow dress walking through the field of daisies as your train passed through the countryside. You open your eyes and smile, coming back to Angeline's melodic voice as she picks up a piece of amethyst. Some of the pieces have been smoothed, but you are most drawn to a jagged piece with clusters of more than a dozen crystals that resemble a purple cloud of rock. Angeline explains that amethyst crystal helps to balance your energy and promote peace and calmness. She says it's her favorite crystal for meditating when time she is focusing on personal growth. Feeling the stone reminds you of the strength of your bones and you can feel the deep sturdiness of your being. You run your fingers across the cool, jagged edges and feel centered as you examine the tiny purple peaks and take in a deep breath. Next up is tourmaline, and every unique crystal has a rainbow-like quality. Translucent hues of green, ruby, and gold blend together. In a glass bowl, there are some tourmaline crystals that are the singular color of the sea while others are the shades of grassy meadows. But the multicolored gemstone appeals to you most, 
as Angeline explains that tourmaline is a powerful grounding crystal that helps to absorb negative energy and promote a sense of stability and security. She expresses that it helps to use the stone when you need to feel safe and protected. She moves on to the display of turquoise, a revered blue-green opaque stone that promotes inner calmness and balance, as well as strengthens communication and self-expression. You trace your finger over the yellow lines that weave like streams throughout the vibrant blue-green. You feel your throat opening as you take a deep breath and focus on the color of the stone. It makes your mind wander to thoughts of a secluded cove. Sunlight sparkles on crystalline waters that lap against a sandy beach as you stand and welcome the silky warm waves over your bare feet. Serenity washes over you and you feel your jaw soften, your lips part and your face relax. Angeline takes another blue crystal, a rich dark blue gemstone that is known for its ability to promote clarity and wisdom. And while the turquoise reminded you of lapping waves in a cove, this crystal makes you think of the deep blue ocean Shimmering gold bands zigzag through the soothing blue to further enhance your deep sense of peace. You come to a display of clear quartz, a crystal that is known for its high energy and ability to amplify other crystals' energies. Some of the pieces are cloudy in spots and the milky lines and translucent sections enhance the appeal of the pure, completely clear peaks. Angeline explains that this quartz is used for manifestation and spiritual growth. Citrine, a bright yellow crystal known for its positive energy and ability to attract abundance and prosperity, is arranged near carnelian crystals, which are a happy shade of orange, known to promote motivation, courage, and creativity. The last crystals in the display contrast each other like yin and yang. Black onyx, a protective stone that absorbs negativity, is used for grounding and feeling rooted and stable. While moonstone, an iridescent white crystal, is known to promote intuition and inner wisdom. Angeline remarks how important it is for her to always maintain a sense of being tied to the earth and feeling grounded, while also remaining open to spirituality and all the magic that goes beyond our earthly existence. Angeline expresses that she hopes you have enjoyed this mini tour and wants you to know that the beauty of life is that you can pick and choose what resonates with you.
She's only there to offer her experiences and understanding. She believes every soul has been gifted the freedom to carve whatever path feels right for them. And if the crystals help elevate one's spirit or well-being along the way, then they have done their job. You feel more relaxed than you have felt in a long time. The energy of the shop, the cadence and soothing character of Angeline's voice, and of course the crystals, have inspired a sense of trust. Angeline asks if you would like to see her sunroom, a place she often goes to meditate and host gatherings. You say yes and follow her down a hallway lit with Himalayan salt lamps and colorful lights dripping in crystals. The cavernous hall opens up into a sunroom where dozens of light catchers in the shapes of lotus flowers crescent moons, stars, and prismatic hearts refract light around the room. Tiny rainbows dance in every corner of the meditation room. Angeline invites you to sit on a turquoise and ruby velvet and silk floor pillow basking in the orange-gold sun of late afternoon. Angeline sits on the floor next to you, behind seven crystal sound bowls of varying heights and diameters. She picks up two wooden mallets covered in dark purple velvet and taps the rims of two bowls. Her graceful hands lovingly guide the mallets around the rims of the clear quartz bowls to create a sound bath. You alternate between opening and closing your eyes, following the rainbows dancing on the ivory and lavender walls to the rhythm of the sound waves echoing through the serene room. When you close your eyes, you feel as though you are floating on the sound waves, soothed internally by each vibration and pulse. You can feel the inside of your brain being soothed by the sound as if given an internal massage. Your skin tingles with a combined sense of aliveness and deep peace. Lost in time, you come back to the room when Angeline dampens the sound. You hear the strike of a match, and she lights candles around the meditation room as darkness prevails outside. While in a meditative state, the sun disappeared for the day without you knowing. You appreciate the warm glow of the room and the peaceful energy. It reminds you of times when you are cuddled in bed on a rainy day, so warm and cozy that you wish to never leave. Angeline places a crystal in the palm of your hand, a stone that meets your needs at this time. 
she tells you to reflect on all that you hope to experience in your life. She lets you know you are welcome to stay as long as she would like. She leaves you in the room as candlelight flickers on the wall and the smell of Palo Santo fills the air. Visions appear on the light gray trails of smoke that squiggle around the room. As your mind travels forward through time, to see yourself enjoying moments cultivated by your imagination becoming a reality. Dreaming is a form of planning. And in the sunroom of Angeline's crystal shop, your plans begin to take hold. As you ride on a reverie, to a happy place, doing something you have longed to do, and doing it well, with deep pride and joy. You keep this vision close, promising to nurture it during the day and with your nightly dreams. You envision yourself enjoying every step of the journey along the way, carrying these dreams in your heart. They give you purpose. They give you hope. They give you a reason to feel excited about what is coming your way. You open your eyes and sigh deeply. Every muscle in your body is soft. Everything about this moment is soft. You slowly rise with a sense of clarity and peace. You return to the shop to find Angeline tidying up before closing. You select a few crystals that feel like they are meant to be yours and bring them with the one Angeline placed in your hand to the cash register. She wraps them up in a small velvet bag and insists that the one she gave you is a gift. She invites you to return, hoping to one day see you again and thanks you for spending time in her shop. You wander through the charming streets of the village, admiring the Victorian homes and rustic cottages along the way. You walk beneath a canopy of weeping willows that dust the crown of your head and shoulders as you pass. A soft breeze off the marsh rustles the willows as you inhale the warm, humid, salty air. The glistening silver light of a crescent moon filters through the long tresses of willows. You arrive at a guest house you booked for the night. The soft sounds of the water 
lapping against the muddy shoreline and tall blue-green grasses take on the same rhythm as your breath. Languid and easy. Crickets chirp and frogs sing out. And every now and then, cicadas add to the night orchestra as you make your way up a white pebbled walkway you admire the charming Cape Cod cottage with shake siding the soft blue-gray shingles have faded into a lunar gray weathered by the salty air and wind the home harmoniously blends into the nocturnal hues of the marsh. You ascend the stairs to a white wraparound porch and discover a sailboat decoration and a table next to the porch swing. It serves as a lockbox where you remove the keys to enter the guest house. You unlock the door and step into the cozy atmosphere that combines antique charm with beachy hues of ivory, sand, and light blues and greens. Feeling quite tired, you pass through the living room and admire the many paintings of the marsh at sunrise, sunset, and beneath the light of a full moon. A dark, narrow hallway leads you to the bedroom. The bedroom beckons to you by the promise of crisp white linens and soft blue accents that create a serene atmosphere. Floor to ceiling windows with dozens of panes surrounded by white grills reveal the breathtaking marsh outside. Lush green grass grows around pools of water that has receded during low tide. The pools resemble hundreds of mirrors scattered across the marsh, rippling between patches of fertile earth. They reflect the moonlight and the starry sky overhead. The crescent moon casts an ethereal glow that captivates you with a sense of awe and deep appreciation. You take a moment to arrange the crystals you purchased earlier at Angeline's crystal shop on a rustic wood bedstand. The vibrant mix of gemstones resonate with you. Some pieces are smooth, while others are jagged and raw, and you admire how the moonstone reflects and illuminates each one. The colors seem to come alive and you can see the delicate patterns and striations in each crystal with greater clarity. You take a deep breath and inhale the gentle scent of sage and eucalyptus that wafts through the room. 
a ceiling fan circulates the cool air, perfect for sleeping. You remove a pair of pajamas from your travel bag and change into them. As you climb into bed, you feel the smooth sheets and soft blankets envelop you in warmth and comfort. The crystals on the stand catch the moonlight and project a dreamy glow on the room. You close your eyes and allow yourself to sink into a state of deep relaxation, feeling the weight of the day slip away as you drift. You surrender to the sounds of the marsh. You revel in the contrast between the cool night air on your face and the warm comforts of the bed. The moonlit crystals fill the room with a sense of magic and wonder. And you feel yourself drawn deeper and deeper into the pleasant memories of your time at the shop. If dreaming is a form of planning, you are inspired to slip away into the hopeful embrace of dreams to come. And if only for this one day and night, you let yourself succumb to the wondrous feelings of having a little bit of magic in your life. As you fade away, blissfully floating through the world between wakefulness and sleep, you find you can no longer resist the gentle tug of slumber as you fall asleep, finding bliss, finding peace, finding clarity, Finding repose, finding sleep.